a chapter a day to brighten your way. May we all be good leaders who love God. Hello, friends. Let us read the Bible together. Today we'll be reading Deuteronomy chapter 17. During the times of the Old Testament, many civilizations worshipped natural phenomena. For example, the Egyptians worshipped the sun and used the stars for divination, and the Canaanites worshipped wood and stones. These were all actions that deviated from God's will. In this chapter, Moses will warn the Israelites not to learn these wrong worship rituals. He will also teach them to always have God's heart in mind. They should seek God's will in all things, whether it's a difficult case or a king that needs to be appointed, because this is a form of protection and is the wisest action. Let's read chapter 17 together. Deuteronomy chapter 17. You shall not sacrifice to the Lord your God an ox or a sheep in which is a blemish, any defect whatever, for that is an abomination to the Lord your God. If there is found among you within any of your towns that the Lord your God is giving you, a man or woman who does what is evil in the sight of the Lord your God in transgressing his covenant, and has gone and served other gods and worshipped them, or the sun, or the moon, or any of the host of heaven which I have forbidden, and it is told you and you hear of it, then you shall inquire diligently. And if it is true and certain that such an abomination has been done in Israel, then you shall bring out to your gates that man or woman who has done this evil thing, and you shall stone that man or woman to death with stones. On the evidence of two witnesses or of three witnesses, the one who is to die shall be put to death. A person shall not be put to death on the evidence of one witness. The hand of the witnesses shall be first against him to put him to death, and afterward the hand of all the people. So you shall purge the evil from your midst. If any case arises requiring decision between one kind of homicide and another, one kind of legal right and another, or one kind of assault and another, any case within your towns that is too difficult for you, then you shall arise and go up to the place that the Lord your God will choose. And you shall come to the Levitical priests and to the judge who is in office in those days, and you shall consult them, and they shall declare to you the decision. Then you shall do according to what they declare to you from that place that the Lord will choose. And you shall be careful to do according to all that they direct you, according to the instructions that they give you, and according to the decision which they pronounce to you, you shall do. You shall not turn aside from the verdict that they declare to you, either to the right hand or to the left. The man who acts presumptuously by not obeying the priest who stands to minister there before the Lord your God or the judge, that man shall die. So you shall purge the evil from Israel, and all the people shall hear and fear and not act presumptuously again. When you come to the land that the Lord your God is giving you, and you possess it and dwell in it, and they say, I will set a king over me like all the nations that are around me, you may indeed set a king over you whom the Lord your God will choose. One from among your brothers you shall set as king over you. You may not put a foreigner over you who is not your brother. Only he must not acquire many horses for himself, or cause the people to return to Egypt in order to acquire many horses, since the Lord has said to you, You shall never return that way again. And he shall not acquire many wives for himself, lest his heart turn away, nor shall he acquire for himself excessive silver and gold. And when he sits on the throne of his kingdom, he shall write for himself in a book a copy of this law, approved by the Levitical priests. And it shall be with him, and he shall read in it all the days of his life, that he may learn to fear the Lord his God by keeping all the words of this law and these statutes, and doing them, that his heart may not be lifted up above his brothers, and that he may not turn aside from the commandment, either to the right hand or to the left, so that he may continue long in his kingdom, he and his children in Israel. Praise be to God! In the Bible, he teaches that a good leader should not only be chosen by God, but should also have a heart that loves God, a good character, and correct values. I trust that we all long for a righteous leader who loves God and others, whether it's in the workplace or at home. This was God's original intention in establishing leaders. Dear friends, have you ever thought that you could be this type of leader? 
I encourage you to always keep God's words in your heart, pay attention to your words and actions, and maintain a good character. I trust that you will be one of God's good leaders and receive God's blessings and help. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, please continue to lead me to walk according to your will. Please help me to be a good leader, whether at work or at home, so that I may spread your blessings to more people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A chapter a day to brighten your way. See you tomorrow. Jesus loves you and I love you too.